I'm getting tired. Hmm. Whew. Ooh, that hurt my head. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> I know you're like, hey, wear something different. Do something different with your life. Well, look, I got a little bit over zeal, 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 zeal. I lost the battle with the word there. It uh, defeated me. I just felt inspired or something. I was watching Mr. Popo TV. Okay. Oh. He was doing some reactions to some songs, and I was also watching K-pop, or K-P, Dale? We're gonna say that's your name. And he's doing reactions, and it was fun to watch, and yeah. So, I thought, why not have that be just the first, these be the first videos for my channel. Yeah, now this video I've also seen just once, when I watched K-P, Dale. I, uh, Whatever. When I watched him react to this song, I also watched the video. So, <laughs> while he was reacting to it. It's a weird ass video. There's a lot of weird, weird, creepy shit going on. But the song itself is cool, and the choreography is cool. It's a little bit overly, shall we say. It's sexy, but just in a very abrasive way. <laughs> I think Wiggle Wiggle is a bit more abrasive. It's just kind of like right up in your face, like, ah, like painful a little bit. Like, whoa, okay, stop. I know you have a butt and a vagina and boobs. Stop showing them to me. <laughs> the style guy in is going for here and the style that this choreography has and all that like it does sexy but it it takes it kind of a little bit like contemporary or like lyrical type of dance and maybe I'm going too far saying that but it has a little bit of that sort of taste to it she's not wearing heels she has this leotard on, and it's really, it's really intriguing, it's very different, it's really cool. When I think about it slightly, it reminds me of Sunmi, um, full moon, like that whole vibe she had, like she didn't have any shoes on, and she just had bare feet, and it's, it's really cool, it's really cool. And guns on the floor, you know, it's really cool, it's, I dig it, it's really nice, I like it. Okay, so, we're gonna do this right now. <laughs> Prepare yourself, because it is weird. Why am I watching this ad? I just don't- okay, I understand everything else, the whole reference, but why two women? And how are the whole religious name? She's an Arabic undergrad. I don't know, sometimes K pop just has so many, so much like deep, deeper shit than you think in the meaning. Because sometimes you'll watch a video and you'll be like, what the fuck? This is weird. This is crazy. Whatever. Cool song. You forget that, like, there's some actual. People took the time to come up with a storyline here. These dance moves are sexy, though, man. I really like them. Just that part was just like, whoa. <laughs> a lot of booty. <laughs> like, I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, this is cool. The video has the, um, the lyrics right here. And the choreography is so different. It's, it's hard not to enjoy it. Okay. 
That part's a little bit like, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just let this drip on my face. It's not sexual at all. The day that K pop isn't sexual. <laughs> I love the trend, not the transition, but she started and then everybody else kicked in when her feet spread long enough and they did their part and they stopped talking. props for that because if I would try that I would look like a damn fool I mean his choreography entails some you know aspects of like lyrical dancing particular dancing not like I'm a pro or anything but I really like lyrical and contemporary dancing a lot of a lot of things I've seen in it. I've seen a little bit of that in this choreography. It's really cool to see. And that's really creepy. And it's so decent to see the bottom half of the video. Very cool. It's like the good side of yeah, the The dark. And it's like, yeah, that's not creepy. That's not like some weird hellish creepy shit. tripping am I like it wasn't naked did I see somebody's booty back there <laughs> see some naked booty I guess not but it's all around creepy kind of <laughs> it's weird and, and dark and very different and it's not a song or video that you can really just look away and forget about like it makes you think and that was probably the goal with the whole song. Something like Ice Cream by Red Velvet compared to this. It's like, I really like this more than, you know, any of those other songs like Ice Cream. Like, but I really like this because it's like deep and dark and has like this sort of story and it's serious. And I love to see that because with K-pop, it's so common to see the egg yo type of theme. The whole cutesy, innocent, Hi! <laughs> I'm wonderful and beautiful. Will you love me too? Will you love me like I love you, oppa? Like, it's like, okay. <laughs> I get it, you're cute, you're beautiful. Alright, fine. But, when you see something like this, where the the singer is kind of like getting ugly, like she's like not literally ugly, but like messy and really getting into the role with the hair, just like wild. And like, I'm here, I'm yours, and like being like crazy and weird and like like that's always an eye catcher for me because it's so it's so unique it's very unique and um creative and really artistic so i'm always attracted to that more i mean k-pop when you like k-pop <laughs> you know you're in it for everything you know and by that i mean even with things that you don't really like as much it's even if you're not really a big egg yo person the whole cutesy egg yo thing you still you know you still have songs that are like that cutesy egg yo theme that you really like k-pop is just a whole bunch of different types of genres mixed into one and when you like k-pop you just 
like everything. <laughs> it's really cool to see something. It's just really different. It sounds different. It looks different. Choreography is different. And to not have it feel so kiddish as it sometimes feels with some groups. Like they always try to capture that innocent, girly type of look and to see something so mature. I love seeing the mature things. But then sometimes when you get mature, then you kind of start getting the whole rated R like <laughs> like even with this like it was mature and there was a little bit of like oh this is a bit too sexy for my eyes here I'm going to cover them now but it's still fun to see you a whole new mature take of K-pop I really like that like I love Mad Clown because even though he fits into the K-pop category he like it's kind of raw like I've heard some of his um, a couple of his songs where he curses in English and I'm like damn <laughs> like, he's just spitting out all these like curse words even like Tablo Tablo does that too um epic high you know like I love to see the more like mature like just a different form of K-pop so yeah this video is all in all like um, crazy and weird and the choreography is like deep and dark and ominous and mysterious and I liked it <laughs> like the song and the choreography I like it so I gave you more than you wanted, <laughs> but that was a rant mixed into a reaction, and I'm signing out now, because I'm, by my characteristics, you can probably tell why I'm like, a little bit like dull, I'm tired, I'm just, tiredness hit me out of nowhere. Alright, <laughs> safety travels voyagers, don't sleep and drive because that's impossible and you'll die. <laughs> Bye. Speechless. <laughs> four minute went in. Four minute went in with this video. It went in with the song in general. They said, we got to take it up. <laughs> a couple of notches. We have to go on a new not tripping am I like it wasn't naked did I see somebody's booty back there <laughs> see some naked booty